Hello. I'm here for another Tag Tuesday uh, hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. Um, I'll put all the information in the description. Um, today's tag is inspired by these. These are the negatives to my spool ribbon holder floss bobbin. Uh, this is the medium size and I have quite a few of these. So I and I just had an order for these and I said you know what I'm not going to add these to my pile and I have a hard time throwing them away and I said there's something I, I have to be able to make with them. So this is what I came up with. This is my tag. And basically it's um, embossed tracing paper behind this. I already started prepping a few and I just decorated it with um, my little sewing embellishments and buttons. Um, this is the large tag that's um, the Sizzix uh, tag collection. It's the, the largest tag. And I already have quite a few of these. I've been trying to de-stash them, ones that I made up ahead of time. So um, I just don't have room to store a lot of extra goodies. So this worked out perfect for that. I got a lot of wispies from die cutting. But yeah, I love it. I love it. I love how that came out. So, um, this is what I did, and I haven't cut the strings off this one yet, but here's one, uh, a light pink, and I have a piece of embossed tracing paper behind that, and all I did was sew around it. Uh, I just went close to the edge, I rounded the corners with my uh, corner rounder, and then um, just sewed it. So, um... Actually, I'll show you how I glued one. Let's see. I'm thinking, let me do another pink one because I really like the pink. Um, wait a minute. I'll do a white one. I'll do a white one. I'm just going to glue it and show you. I'm not going to sew around it. I, I don't have enough room here for that, so... And these are like two pieces of cardstock uh, glued together, so it, it's pretty thick. And there's a front and a back in, in most cases. Um, it's not perfect because when I do these, I'm mass making and I'm not mindful about where I, I cut the square out. But then I'm not really mindful of where I put this. I try to get it in there with... It hopes that I can reuse these but now I, I will so all I did was took some tracing paper and I cut it down to fit this then I picked out some um, embossing folders that I thought would look good behind here these are little scraps the little pieces that were left over and I noticed like on the ones that are real busy, this is just a scrap, um, it doesn't really look so good. I like the ones that are delicate and they have quite a bit of, um, you know, spaces like background. So that that's an option. These are all smalls. I love this one, the, the dotted. Uh, here's one that has measurement. Now the, this one here is just decoration on its own. Let me grab a tag that for background. That would help. Mm. No, I'm not really liking that. I really, oh, here's one with roses. 
Ooh, I like that one. I really like this one. The roses might be too busy because mainly what I'm doing, yeah, that's too busy. Um, I'm putting, um, you know, something on top, like a focal point. This one here is flowers. So I like that one. Oh, this one's pretty too. I tried to pull out my, my decorative, you know, delicate embossing folders. I quite like that one. Here's birds. Doesn't really go. The flowers. And that one's flowers. I think I'm going to go with this one because it, it, it looks like, um, kind of like tapestry or whatever in the background. So I'm going to go with that one. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I mean, even that, look at that on there. How cool is that, right? But I want to use these up. So that's for another day. So let's see. I'm going to say that's going to be my back. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm just going to run a bead of glue. And this is just three in one or fabric tack. I'm not sure. And I'm going right along this edge. I'm going to sew around, but I'm, so I'm just staying close to here just to tack it down. Okay. And it's just to tack it down. I'm going to sew it anyways. Sewing is optional. You don't have to sew it. So I'm just going to lay this on here, and I know it's a little bit bigger, uh, but I can trim it. So and I'm just going to press that down, and then I'll just trim this little piece off here. Of course, I'll save that little piece. And then I'm just going to use my corner rounder, the quarter quarter inch. It's it's easier to sew around that size. I like it. So that's it. And then I would just sew around here if, you know, it's optional. And if and I have a ton of these. If anyone's interested in me putting um these here, I have different sizes. I have small medium and large um just leave me a message here and i'll put some kits together in my shop you know at a reasonable price so i know shipping is ridiculous right now okay see see i love that um so yeah i would just sew around there so i'm not going to use this one here i have one started here and I just put a uh, thimble there and I'm thinking it needs something else so let me get these out of the way so yeah um, maybe these scissors thimble and some scissors yeah I like that okay now with all dies and die cutting, you're going to have like little, uh, like threads of uh, cardstock. Wispies, I don't know what you call them. I call them little wispies, but on the delicate stuff, just take it and put it in your hand or on a flat surface. Uh, let's see, maybe I could do it here. I don't know if that's going to work out. And just kind of go over it, and it'll take those off. Me, I prefer in my hand because I can see where I'm going with it. I can still see. These scissors are too cute, but they do get little wispies because it's um, embossed. Because it has that embossed. I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but they're indented and they have, you know, a design. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to glue that. Let's 
so this just came to me this morning when I was looking at my negatives and I was like man what am I going to do with those and then it came to me and I was like yes an idea so I'll probably be making a lot of these unless I can sell some in my shop So I'll just press that down and you can still see the embossed tracing paper in the middle there. They go like that. You can see the decorations, but it's super cute. I love that. That's a little crooked, but that's okay. Um, I am going to put a uh, hole reinforcer at the top here. Um, that's the right color. That one's not the right color. I think I've got manila file folder and cream cardstock mixed up in the same one there. All right. Um, okay. Grab a piece of paper. I'm just going to use the same glue and just go around just a just a dab a dab will do you and put that on I know you can color these but I like using the same cardstock or I'll just put brown I got a glue okay and I use tweezers a lot for picking things up because I have um, many forms of arthritis and um, don't have a lot of feeling in certain fingers and stuff. So I'll try to pick it up, but then I'll just throw it. And let's see, I've got a piece of this. I'm going to, where's my scissors? Just going to cut this. An angle, and this is just um, oh, I got it by the yard. It's like kind of lacy embroidered fabric, uh, it was in the clearance at Joann's, and I just cut it into strips, just cut it into strips, and then this strip was too wide, so I cut that in half. So, yeah, comes in handy. And it goes a long way. I mean, if you get a quarter yard, and usually these types of fabrics too, I think they're like 60 wide, so you're really getting good mileage. Now see if you put the whole reinforcer in there, it helps hold it together because this fabric can be kind of rough on that. Um, I just need something up here. I can either stamp up here or put some buttons like I did this one here. I think I want to do it different. Um, just trying to think what I want to do. I might just make a, uh, a label and put a label on here, uh, something from my sewing collection of something, but I love that. I really love that. That turned out really nice. Um, let's see. Wish this would fit, but that's too big. Um, what do I have? White. Did I do a pink yet? No, I want to do this pink one here. So let me just pull my threads to the back. And if you pull on that string, it'll pull a loop that you could pull to the back. So all your threads are to the back. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of glue here and then trim them. I don't want them pulling out, but I'm going to glue it down anyways. But. 
Okay. Okay, that's down. All right, so now I just need to pick a tag, and I think I might just go with a white tag. Well, I don't know. Let's see what goes with pink. It's too much. Maybe a brown one? Do I have a brown one? Yep. Pink and brown go together. Nah, I don't like it. I think of this blue here. I've done that. It's kind of much. I love that one. Oh, I like that one. Okay, let's go with that. I'm just going to find the front and then glue this down and then figure out what I'm going to put in there. Hopefully I got something to match. If I had a pink tag, pink and pink, would that go good? I'm second guessing myself. That one's kind of dark. It's not the same pink. I don't want to cut more. There we go. Let's see how this looks. Mm, no, I like the contrast. I'm going to go with the blue. Okay, glue it. I'm just going to glue it down. And I'm not going in the center, just along the edge here. I'm trying to hit that stitching line because that will grab to the stitching. Gluey fingers. Okay, I'm just going to set that there. That's pretty. I like that. <laughs> Give it a good press. Now, what can we do? Let's see. Mm -mm. I might not have anything for this one. That's cute. I think I might go with that again. I think this one's too big. I cannot pick anything up today. That one too big, maybe? Oopsie. Too much going on. Okay, there we go. I'm wondering if I put some fabric behind that on there. I know there's a right and the wrong to this, but I can't figure it out. So if I wrapped this around, that would be cute. I quite like that. So I'm gonna do that. Just straighten this piece up and then just going to cut a piece just enough to wrap around. I'll glue it. There we go. All these little bits, I'm not sure if I said it already, are, are for sale in my, in my shop. And you can pick whatever color you want.
Okay. So I'm just going to glue this. I'm not sure which is front and back. I think that's the front right there. Just going to hit it with a little bit of glue. Here, here, and then get it started. There. And then I think I want to put a bow around there too. Like it's tied. So I just need a string. I might not. Oh, I do have one in there. I need to make some more of these. I'm just going to grab one of these that I use for my tags. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, that one's got a knot in it. How crazy is that? Where's my little pick tool? Well, I might have to get a new string and fuss with this later, but I thought I could get it. Oh my word. I gotta grab another one. Okay. Just don't want to waste that one string. I might not even need all of it either. I'm just not really sure. I think I almost want to double it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just so it has enough interest. Now, tying on camera is another, another ball game. I don't know that this is long enough. Please, no. I do like that though. I might just go with that. No. This might take me a couple tries. You can fast forward if it's too painful. Okay. Come on. Nope. Might just I'm just going to grab a longer string. Be right back. whole ball of wax here now. So plenty plenty of string. And this is just um oh I think it's the number is it number 10? Number 10 I think crochet cotton thread. It's mercerized so it doesn't have little fuzzies on it. Okay I'm gonna Try to do this and not waste any, but I don't want to be all day trying to tie a knot. Oh no. Come on. Nope. I just, I have two fingers here that have no feeling, so. I'm trying to make them do things that they don't want to do. Okay. But I'm persistent and I have a lot of patience. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Okay. Now, just to make that bow a little bit smaller. Because I really like that bow on there. All right, I'm going to snip that. There. 
that was worth the wait for sure. Okay, now I'm going to glue that puppy down right there. I like that. All right, let's use you. Should grab my big glue bottle because I kind of want to be generous with this, but. Uh-huh. All right, let's see what we got here. Mm, let's go like that right there. I think, yeah. There. Too cute. Okay, and then I could figure out something up here like um like a label or something or I can stamp uh, something sewing theme up there. Oh, sorry, let me take a drink here. Okay. So I like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know if I have the color or not. I might need to make some more of these. They're not easy to make. Oh, well, they kind of are, but they're, they're very time consuming. I don't think I have that color, so I think I'm going to go with um, either white or brown. No, I don't like the brown. We're going to go with the white these back in. So I just need two of those. Okay. And I'll put these back. I love having these on hand already made up. You don't need a lot of glue on them either, just a little bit. Okay. All right. There's that one. Um, and I'll put some uh, lace at the top too, but yeah, I just need to add something up there, but yeah, I'm kind of liking these. Really cute. So I'll make a bunch of these, use up those, and if um, anyone orders sewing themed items from my shop, you might see one of these tags in your little goodie bag so yeah i like that let me go ahead and put that i don't know how long i think i did that six inches i'm just measuring from over here yeah i need my big scissors these are sharp i keep them put away because they're only for fabric so basically i think this is like about one inch and then I just cut that in half. So I'm just going to cut this in half. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then angle it. I think the lace, um, this lace trim really finishes it off. I like that. 
Okay, so there's my tag share for today. Um, they're not quite finished, but I still want to add some some elements up here, something. I really like this one with the buttons. Um, I don't think I have anything small to go up there that will match, but that's okay. Uh, I do have some small white buttons, or that's like a, what you call it, the, that goes to the sew machine. Uh, oh, I have small ones of these, but not the right color. The bobbin, I think this is like the bobbin. Um, I have these little bits here. If I had three things, that's kind of the same. I'll go through my dies. I can, I can make more. I really depleted um, my stash here. But I use these all the time. Here's a cute little button. There. It could go in the middle. Three items. Yeah. I don't know. I'll go through and, and pick some stuff. I think I might just do a label on this one, though. Uh, oh, yeah. This is the dies that I use to cut out my little bits. And this one, I believe, is Spellbinders. I, I got this second hand, so I don't have original packaging. Yeah. Spellbinders Shape Abilities 55-088, but I'll put it in the description. I love these. It's got, I mean, for just this one die set, I mean, it, it pretty much has it all. Really cool. So there's that one that I have. And then I have this one is our daily bread design. And it has smaller bits um, right here. They're really teeny tiny. And then this one here is Lee. I can't really tell. Lee. Lee. I'm not really sure. Something. Lee Craft. I don't know. Lee Abilities, I think. Lee Craft Designs. I don't know if anybody knows, but that's it right there. And I'll put the, uh, the information in the description in case you, you want to search out some of these dies because they're really cool you know I don't have all of these cut out but just because I use them up pretty quickly I make um, library card pockets with these decorations on the front so and then I use the the large tag die for this one here but I had a bunch of these I have these to use up so I'll probably get through that with this project here so that's that. Okay. And then don't forget how cool is it to um, emboss your tracing paper. That's super cool. And this is the uh, premium. So it's pretty thick. Um, some of the embossing folders were rough on it. Uh, more so than others, but um, but yeah, I was pretty happy with how they came out. Pretty surprised. I love this one with just the dots. Just simple. Just very simple. I love that. Yeah, that one's cool. But yeah, some of them are a little bit busy, but they'll work for other projects, though, you know. That one's pretty, too. Okie dokie. I'm going to end the video here. Have fun making your tags, and I hope this was helpful and you got some inspiration from it. So, use your, if you're die cutting, use your negatives because they're, they're just as cool as the, the dies themselves. So, yeah. 
All right. Take care. Bye.